Hello, 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 it's Kathy Vidal at MyStampinSpot.com coming to you with 10 Minute Tuesday. How are you today? It's hot here in the Northeast and I am dragging, so I'm going to be a little slow today. I apologize. Let's talk ephemera packs. Is that how you say it? I'm not really even sure. Our catalog has a whole section of mix and match. And you can make cards with very little or no stamping at all. You could use these for scrapbooks. You could use these for so many things, journal entries. And quite honestly, these are great for grandkids, kids that are home over the summer. So we have packs of uh, cut and scored card bases and envelopes that match. So you kind of pick whether you like the, the lighter, the brighter, or whether you like the deeper colors. And then you choose one of the ephemera, ephemera packs that you like. Then you can purchase Simply Said. It's got a whole assortment of um, greetings. I sadly didn't think to pull this stamp set, but that's okay. I did pull a different one. I am using the Unbounded Beauty DSP. All right, let's get to work here. I have, is this piece cut right? This is one, two, three, four, five and a quarter. Yes, four by five and a quarter. This is gonna go on the top of the card. This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, your typical card base. And see, this will sit on here. Hey, Janet. How are you today? Actually, I'm going to have to cut this. This is not the right dimension, but that's okay. I can cut another one. I'm going to be cutting anyway. All right, let me move some stuff aside. I have the Petunia Pop and the Summer Splash Blends. I have a Petunia Pop stamp pad. I have Cake Fancy because I really want to use Birthday Wishes. Um, I guess we could stamp some of this, but I'm not going to. I have the hexagon punch. Let me put these to the side while we cut. And then we're going to open this beautiful pack and I'll show you what's going on there. So you know we have our card base that's eight and a half by five and a half. So inside we want our piece of DSP. Uh, the orange is on the other side, but I want to use this pretty green. We are going to cut this at eight and a quarter by five and a quarter. So first I'm going to cut my five and a quarter. Basically, it's a quarter inch smaller than the actual card base. This is going to be the inside. It's kind of a fun fold. It'll be fun. Okay, by eight and a quarter. My desk is so congested. Okay, then we have this piece of scrap. While I'm here cutting, I am just going to cut a piece. That is four by five and a quarter. This will go on the card front. Okay, so this is gonna, and we're gonna hold our card landscape as opposed to vertical. And you'll see why, because it's kind of a cool little fun fold that's going in there. All right, now, so our card base is scored at four and a quarter. This is a, let me shorten this up. This is a quarter of an inch smaller than our card base. So I want to score the center of this at four and one eighth. And I will put this all on my blog this afternoon. So you'll have all these measurements. Okay, then we're going to go to our left side and we are going to score it two inches. Uh-oh, I think my dog's coming home, which means my dogs are going to bark like crazy, and I'm really sorry. I thought I had a few minutes here. So I'm scoring at two inches, and then I'm going to score it at three inches. So this piece will be two inches wide. The next piece will be one inch wide. Then we have our four and one eighth. Now I need to flip this over, and again, we are going to score on two inches. 
This would make a great Mother's Day card, what I am doing, and then we're going to score it three inches, just like the other side. This would make a really fun Mother's Day card. Okay, I'm going to hold off on that for a minute. Now I need my white. What did I do? Here's my white. Okay, my white is going to be five. This is what we're going to sign our name on by one and three quarter. Seems really narrow, I know, but when you see it all put together, you'll get it. Okay, so, Kate, I'm online if you keep the dogs quiet. Okay, so now, that's going to be our inside piece. And we're actually holding this this way. So the first thing we want to do is we want to fold, let's see, we want to start... Well, why don't we start the middle? We'll fold it in half, and then we're going to flip it back, and then we're going to bring it forward. Okay? We're going to fold it back, and then we're going to bring it forward. So you kind of have this big, like a huge exaggerated E. All right? So we've folded it in half, and then we accordioned it back and forth on both sides. Okay, now here's where we are going to add lots of strong adhesive because this will get some pull on it. Oop. And I am going to line this up just like I would any other layer with roughly a quarter inch on the bottom and on the sides. And then we're going to add adhesive on this side like so. And I'm just going to sandwich this down and hope. Yep, we got the same. Pretty good measurement. Okay, there's our kind of fun fold. It's like an accordion fold, okay? This piece, we're going to put right in here. And I'm not even going to stamp it because we are going to use the ephemera pack for the whole thing. And you could stamp a greeting on here if you wanted. Hopefully you can see this the way... I'm going to push it down a little more. So the, the nice thing about this is, should we decorate the front first? Let's decorate the front first. The nice thing about this is, the card will be like this. Someone could stand it. But when it's all done, someone can also display it like this. Okay? And you'll see why in just a minute. All right. I have, let's talk about the ephemera pack. I have so much trouble with that. Okay, I'm going to cut this open. This has eight total sheets. So there's four different sheets, two of each sheet. Have you seen these? Have you bought these? Have you used them? Hey, Jonna, Kathy, how are you, hubby? <laughs> okay, I'm going to sneeze. I apologize. <laughs> Yeah. You can say, I, I see why I say these are great for scrapbooking. These are great for um, pretty much anything. Card making, they're great for teens. You could use them in a, like a journal log. If you were traveling and your kids wanted to write a journal, they could uh, decorate it with this. These could even be used in Bibles. On the pages of Bibles. There's so much you can do with these. Um, uh, did I say card making? Scrapbooking? All kinds of stuff. All right. I am kind of pulling out anything that kind of has this color. So some of these greens clearly don't go with this summer splash. So I'm just going to pull out one. Then I'll have a whole nother sheet. I'm going to kind of just pull out one of anything that I kind of think matches. Even though this isn't the exact same color, I still think that green matches. That's like a soft sea foam color. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Pauline, how are you? Yes, haven't seen you in a while either. How are you? Okay, so the yellow doesn't match as well, but the greens do, and I think it'll be a nice contrast. So basically, I am just taking flowers from one of each sheet. So there's still a whole nother sheet 
of each piece that I will leave untouched. I kind of like these little guys. These are really cute. Let's see. I really like this flower, but I don't think that green goes as well. Let's pull this. Let's definitely pull this because we can color that. And again, I'm going to leave the whole other sheet. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to pull this little guy. Look at that little cutie. It's just a little cutie patootie. Again, I don't know that I love the yellow, but I do like the green leaves. And let's see. I think we can get away with these little peach guys and this big one. Okay, so again, I still have a full sheet left. Plus, I have all the other flowers that I didn't use from the sheets that I pulled from. Okay? This is cute. This is like a little strawberry plant. Isn't that cute? I think that's really cute. You know what? Here, I see this little purple flower, too. Petunia pop. Okay. I am... Hey, Peg. How are you? I am going to sit down for a minute while I'm putting this together because I need multiple hands here. All right, before we put the center together, let's do, so when you fold this, you just want to make sure that you're folding those folds in. So you see this whole center is kind of going to be empty here. And we're holding it this way. And I believe this is the piece. No, nope, that one's too small. Where's the one I cut for? There we go. Okay, I am going to put this right on the card front. That. There we go. And we're going to color this. So like I said, I brought over the Summer Splash and the Petunia Pop blends. And because it's 10 minute Tuesday through the magic of TV, I have one colored. But I am going to show you, hopefully you can see some of the shading I have on these flowers. I'm going to show you how I went back in and shaded. So I colored the Petunia Pop all in the light color. I'm going in with my dark color. And again, I very rarely use the brush tip. So I'm going to go in with my blunt end. I'm going to color that circle in darker. And then these flowers are awesome because they kind of have some, some dark lines in them already. So if you kind of follow those dark lines, that is really going to help you get the shading that you want. Now that I've said that, I am going to start in the center and kind of work out all the way like that. And you'll see that I've gone along the black printed lines here to bring almost like, a, I don't know, like a vein through the petal. That's really the wrong word, but um, that's how I brought that petal to life a little bit. Like that. And I can even go in and make this darker if I wanted. It's really like that. Don't be afraid. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I, I don't know how to do the shading. Don't be afraid. That's all I can say. It's pretty hard to mess it up and make it look bad, right? I mean, they're flowers. Okay, then I came in with my light summer splash. And this flower, the greenery is just printed black. There's really no way to color it. So I'm just going to go over it just to kind of bring the green color in, the Summer Splash color in. I just think it's a little prettier than just the black. You don't have to. You could take your Summer Splash and go ahead and like just color all in here like it was all greenery like that if you wanted all the way around if you preferred to thicken it up I wasn't really going to do that but now I've kind of committed so I guess I'll kind of kind of finish with that <laughs> nothing like life <laughs> so see how I kind of just colored the whole area in um, so that there's just not quite so much white there Like that. I actually think perhaps I like it better. I don't know. What do you think? You could do it either way. All 
right. Now, I am, I have pre-punched, well, I thought I did. Yep, I did. I pre-punched the um, hexagon shape, and I want to stamp birthday wishes in there. And let's see, that's my birthday wishes. Ah! <laughs> My husband was always saying, oh, you're not that gentle, honey. You're not that gentle. That's all right, though. Okay. Petunia popping. Small block to match the size of the stamp. And you have less halo around your wording. So I am thinking... Let me close this. I am thinking... Then I'm going to kind of have this sit like this. So I kind of want to put this a little down to the right. I'm not stamping it dead center. Here we go. Oh, my cloth dried out from yesterday. I have one little corner that's wet. <laughs> uh, glass mat coming Ju July 3rd. Very excited. This is one of my favorite things about the glass mat. It's a little thinner than the pink chamois and it's bigger and it's awesome july 3rd july 3rd but it's an online exclusive so it will be while supplies last i should put that disclaimer in there i am looking for dimensionals i found dimensionals all right before i do dimensionals actually i want to do one of those zigzaggy things with the ribbon on the back. I don't know what you call it. Kind of just loop it back and forth. Do you like my technical terms? I have some awesome technical terms, don't I? Okay. So I just put some adhesive on the back of my tag. And I'm just going to fold it back and forth. Like so. I think this one needs just a little bit of a different angle. go okay now I'm gonna put those dimensionals on here and then I'm going to show you the fun stuff we're gonna do inside this card did you guys that are in the Midwest did you recover from your flooding I know Connie was one John are you another one that maybe had the flooding I know it Miss Karen in Iowa So, I'm going to trim this after I put this on. And again, because I'm going to have this big floral bouquet, I'm going to push this to the corner a little bit. Where's my scissors? My skizzes. There we go. Okay. We're going to pop this up on dimensionals. And then we're going to make the magic happen inside this card. And I, I really was wishing it was closer to Mother's Day. Because this would have been a great Mother's Day card. So maybe you get one and you put it away for next year. Oh, you need rain. Hot and sunny Wisconsin. Did, did Wisconsin have a lot of rain though, Jane? I feel like Connie, Connie was all over that. Okay. All right. Perhaps I should have shifted it a little. I can live with it. We're going to put dots on after. But let's make the magic happen inside. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad you kind of dry it out a bit, Jane. All right. Let's see. We're going to take these flowers and we're going to arrange them on these steps so that the receiver has this beautiful card that they can display like this or they can display it open. All right, so let's just, we're going to lay some of these out. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of was pre-playing with these. And I'll tell you why I was pre-playing with them. I was kind of pre-playing with them because if you're not careful, like if I were to put this like, like this, because we're going to adhere it onto the steps. When I closed it, look what happens. 
See how it goes past the edge of the card? So you have to make sure that you're placing it at a good angle. You want to set it as low as possible so that when the card closes, when they roll on there, the card will close easier. You have it hidden better. So I am doing this with glue dots. I don't think I would do this with, oh look, I'm going to put this little purple flower right here we're going to sign our name. I don't think I would do this with dimensionals. I think it might be a little too fluffy. But I do think that you could use white glue if you could put it low enough. So the key is you need your flowers to be low. And again, I say these would be great for scrapbook pages. These would be great for um, journaling. Awesome for teenagers. I'm going to kind of put this one in the middle here. And again, I'm sitting it kind of on that bottom fold. And I'm just going to push it down. Pop it back up. Then, let's see. I think we'll put this big yellow flower down here. These are kind of fun to play with. A little different than what we've had. Clearly, kind of a... And again, you, you need to make sure that it doesn't hang out because when it's closed, it'll, it'll show. So you want to make sure it's low and tucked in on the sides. Now, when I, the first time I did this, I kind of did two, two, and two, and then it kind of looks so uniform. So I want to kind of cram in a lot of flowers to kind of make it look like a big bouquet of flowers everywhere. Um, let's see here. A couple more glue dots. And I'm going to just pop this right to the edge. So hopefully when we close this, we're pretty covered there. They have a little teeny bit hanging out, but I'm not, I probably could pick it up and just shift it just a little bit to, to lower it. I'm not gonna do that right now though. I love this big flower. This reminds me of our stamp set. I just think that is so pretty. Of course this petunia pop, even though I'm not a purple girl, this petunia pop is really, high on my favorites list these days. Okay, so now this flower is so plain with no greenery. I'm going to add this greenery to it to almost make it look like it's a it came that way. Okay, I'm just going to put that right there. And then we're going to add glue dot or two to the back of this. Again, you could use white glue. It might be easier to shift it around with white glue if you kind of haven't gotten it low enough. And I am, um, I am going to have this leaf kind of cover this purple flower to break it up just a little bit. I just need to make sure that we're tucked in there. Yep, definitely tucked in. Then I think we'll put this flower on. Now this one is definitely too tall to stand on it. I'm making a mess with these blue dots. I, I mean, I really don't even know what I'm doing here. So I am, if I were to stand it like this, when I closed it, it definitely would be hanging over. So I'm kind of just going to tilt it at an angle like that. They, they're kind of almost looking like they're growing in that direction. All right, let's see. Oh, you know what I need? I need... I want one of these because I want to add that to these flowers. So I'm going to put a glue dot. Let's see here. Put a glue dot on here. And I'm going to kind of add that to this greenery. Actually, maybe not that greenery. We have another greenery that's full of, here it is. I'm going to do this one. I kind of, this one's a little more whimsical, and I think it goes better with these flowers. Like that. And a couple blue dots here. You can see how relatively quickly this is going together because you're not doing all the coloring and cutting and die cutting. It's a really pretty simple fold. 
Um, think about the possibilities. You could do, oh my, look what's sitting over here in the corner of my desk, right? You could do a whole seascape. So these were from yesterday's video. Imagine these with all the other elements. Whoops, to the Seaside Wishes set. Coming up here, done in blues or sand color or whatever. I mean, there's a lot of options here. I chose the Ephemera pack. <laughs> I really have a hard time with that word. Um, I chose that because it's Tevin to Tuesday and I was trying to keep it a little shorter. But honestly, I think it would be just as pretty with, um, with the Seaside Wishes. Let's see, what else could you do with? What else do we have that's fun? I'm trying to think. Oh, you know what? Let's see, this little teeny one. I'm going to put it up in here like that. There we go. And again, once you close it once or twice, it will, it will work much better. There we go. Isn't that cute? Look at... You can do your friendly fins, do little schools of fish. What do these dyes look like? Let's see what these dyes look like. I, don't, I haven't opened them yet. But you could do a whole underwater seed, where that would make a really cute kid's birthday card, wouldn't it? I really think I knew it would. Hey, Carol. Yes, Lot to Love would, do, would be awesome, too. Uh, the little the cups, the, what do you call it? Like latte cups. Oh, look at all these. You get a lobster. You have bubbles. I wonder if this is too big to fit in here. Let's see. We put so much glue on these sometimes. I think this might... Oh, look at that. It just barely fits. Oh my gosh, you could do a whole underwater seed. There's the stingray, the fish, the dolphins, the hammerhead sharks. You can build a whole underwater adventure for your grandkids or little ones, nieces, nephews, your own children. I just think it would be so cute. And uh, like Jonna said, the uh, yes, uh, what is that really bright and pretty flower DSP? Is it this one that we're talking about? The... Um, this one that I used, I used the back. Are you referring to... Oh, look, you could do it with vegetables. Could have your little bags filled with vegetables. Oh my gosh, there's so many ideas. The lemons, you could cut some... Although these might be big because these are very big images. Let's see here. Oh, these are like pop-out pieces. You might be able to trim them down and do those kind of flowers. Uh, oh my gosh, ducks, do a whole duck one. Trusty Toolbox, yes, that would be another one. Trusty Toolbox would be a, another really cute card. Um, and I think these ducks would be amazing. Oh my gosh. Where is that other paper? Ooh. You know what? I bet you could do it with some of the smaller airplanes flying in the sky, right? You could do some clouds and some of the smaller airplanes cut from the DSP, maybe. I mean, the possibilities are endless. John, I'm looking for the paper that I'm thinking you're talking about. Well, well, well. Oh, this could be pretty with just some sprigs of greenery coming up. Not, not quite as interesting, I don't think. This one. You think in this one? This beautiful flower, the Unbounded Beauty flower? I used this piece of DSP, but that would be really pretty too. So if you try this, I will put the measurements on my blog tonight. When I get off of here, I'll take some photos and put the measurements on my blog. If you try this, send me some pictures. I'd love to see what you do with it. I think it would be pretty awesome. So again, I used Cake Fancy for the greeting. This is the new Petunia Pop. This I colored uh, with the new in color blends, the Summer Splash, the Petunia Pop, and that's our 
ephemera pack. And look, you could do a whole other card in other colors. And you could use the, the deeper greens. There's just still so many to be used. So, give it a try. Let me know. Send me pictures. And uh, I likely will not see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Oh, no, that's not the paper. I made beautiful cards with it. Wow, what would that be? Really bright DSP. Huh. I'm a little stumped, Jonna. I'm going to have to go back and study my... Study my... Uh, my DSP. Well, all right. Oh, the Zitty is. Who said Zitty is? Zitty is. Yes. Yes. Becky. Becca. Yes. Absolutely the Zitty of paper. That would be beautiful. See, you guys, you're so full of ideas now. All right, go try it. Send me photos. I'd love to share them with everybody. I am certain everybody would love to see them. And wouldn't that be really cute just sitting on a mantle like that. Hopefully you can tell with the little writing here. All right. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. I will see you Thursday. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.